Central banks have literally just set the price of XRP. This goes publicly after the International Monetary Fund said this, saying that the price of XRP will be in the thousands of dollars, and that they, alongside the International Monetary Fund, had decided to use them for payment and settlement. Now, this is insane because the price that the central banks actually set XRP at is over $10,000. And there is proof. A clip here from a prominent and top banker analyst that owns one of the largest venture capital funds known as Black Swan Capitalist publicly went on a podcast and stated this. And that's not all. With rising debts for the United States of America hitting over $35 trillion, almost $36 trillion, it makes sense that as XRP is set to facilitate all the national debt, including all the global wealth, that we are going to see a $10,000 plus per XRP. Because not only did the Wells Fargo team officially announce that by 2025, they believe XRP is going to be worth over $10,000, but the World Economic Forum, the Monetary Fund, and even Ripple Labs himself stated through Ripple Labs Vice President James Wallace that XRP could hit over $10,000 due to private ledger projects with the central bank and a Ripple's SEC win. Of course, while this remains speculative, it is basically confirmed that the online element of having central banks facilitate using XRP has been confirmed and having over 30 central bank digital currencies being built on the XRP ledger already in progress. This is insane and it's going to be an epic video so before we get right into it let's remind you guys to tap the like button, subscribe to the channel with your post notifications and share this video. We're giving away free XRP so take advantage of this golden opportunity and also don't forget to subscribe to the Money Cafe podcast channel. We're going to be releasing our first video very soon. It's going to be an absolutely epic XRP giveaway and we're giving the first comment on that video free xrp so hit the subscribe button i'll link it down below in the description and with that being said let's get right into the video I want to begin with this, and I think it's very critical, and it's to emphasize that even Ripple's co-founder and Ripple's entire team believes in a $10,000 per XRP. This is Ripple's co-founder, Arthur Brutu, envisioning XRP's potential at $10,000 with global scalability, even saying that XRP is designed for $10,000 and must be scalable to accommodate 7.5 billion people. This is Ripple Labs co-founder and the XRP co-founder, Arthur Brutu, expressing his belief that XRP will be worth $10,000. But it's not the first time that Ripple's leadership emphasized $10,000 per XRP. Just shortly, we showed you guys this, Ripple's Vice President James Wallace suggesting XRP could hit $10,000. Even David Schwartz, Ripple's CTO, actually emphasized that he believes XRP's predicted price is a million dollars per XRP, as it is more practical than anything else. And he also emphasized that XRP being priced at $10,000 is more viable for payments and settlement, so it only makes sense that XRP is more likely to hit $10,000 than it is to be $1. And of course, now we're also getting news that the International Monetary Fund and the World Banks have agreed to set the price of XRP to over $10,000. And I also want to roll this clip for you because I think it's absolutely extremely important. So let's go ahead and roll the clip. And central banks are, have an incentive to dissolve that debt right now. And they found a solution, which is blockchain. They actually are going to, in my opinion, based on the research and also I can confirm this, that the International Monetary Fund has already agreed on a price before all this integration started to happen. So this was a few years ago. They agreed upon a price, and I got a lot of information from uh, Linda P. Jones has a friend who um, worked at the Central Bank of Australia, and she said that they agreed upon a price, and it's in the thousands. Now, when we again talk about the XRP price, we have to look at the global debt, the incentive for central banks to dissolve global debt, in fact, also to utilize this liquidity source of liquidity from XRP to facilitate um, you know, transparency. Moving into the digital economy, this is what they're going to be using. XRP is a financial instrument to serve the global economy. Uh, when we talk about the price of XRP. Moving towards BlackRock. Yes, even BlackRock has decided to jump on board the XRP ledger. In fact, we have confirmed news that BlackRock said to pour in over $9 trillion into the XRP ledger literally injecting it, confirmed by Ashley Prosper, a top analyst who recently took the XX to examine a BlackRock's potential spot XRP ETF might be introduced before the Ripple vs. SEC case conclusion. 
What ended up coming as a result is a complete investigation revealing that BlackRock has been working with Ripple Labs all along and is projected to begin injecting $9 trillion into the XRP ledger and getting XRP in exchange, where they're basically planning on using it to facilitate payments and transactions. This again is mass news and is confirmed and we even have video proof of that. Moving forward from $9 trillion set to enter the XRP ledger and $10,000 per XRP is a sudden halt for all XRP withdrawals on Binance. Yes, what originally started as a Binance temporary halt on XRP withdrawals for maintenance ended up becoming a days long event where basically nobody can withdraw XRP to a cold wallet, but they still allow transactions to happen. Now, this is insane, and it goes back to the concept of retail to be restricted for XRP and how XRP was never meant for retail in the first place, but what they're doing now here is another level. This is why from the very beginning we told you guys always to shift your XRP onto a cold wallet because situations like this when the institutions are trying to restrict you from holding any XRP and basically want to make you auto sell. This is exactly what happened with a bunch of other cryptocurrencies like Luna Classic and Terra Luna where basically Binance and other exchanges end up just automatically halting all withdrawals, giving a date and saying that they're going to auto sell on that date. And people like me had woken up one day and basically all their Luna Classic was sold and they give you whatever they decided to give you in exchange. It's quite insane, but it's actually happening to XRP now. And again, like I say, always put your crypto on a cold wallet because if it's not your keys, it's not your crypto. And we're not done because multiple XRP whales, really they're institutions, but we call them whales, have decided to buy XRP. Yes, over $1.5 billion worth of XRP, equivalent to about 3 billion XRP, were actually purchased slash moved in the last hours. This is insane, and it comes at a critical time when we get that news that the elections are about to happen in the next 24 hours, we're getting the $9 trillion into the XRP ledger, and most importantly, the International Monetary Fund acting with the World Banks as the central bank of central banks, with XRP being used as a means of settlement payment, officially released this report confirming that they're going to be working on an international, non-national currency that will be built on the XRP ledger and will transact and sell payments using the RevNet system, which ends up using XRP as settlement. This is absolutely insane, and it shows us the extent at which XRP is going to be used Globally, not only the, the BRICS nations, including Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa, are going to use XRP, but the United States of America is also going to do so. All right, and now we're going to end off with this epic, basically it's a tweet here, it's a post, but it's insane, and it's confirmed. The Bank of the United States of America, also known as Bank of America, has just announced a groundbreaking partnership with Ripple Labs. Soon, they'll be leveraging XRP for streamlined payments. This is a huge step towards mainstream adoption. Again, this is massive, and it's been reported by multiple news outlets, which is why I'm reporting on this. Of course, this is not it, because BIS is also, again, set to handle a project to embrace the central banks using XRP. There's so much more news as well that's extremely bullish, like the National Bank of Abu Dhabi partnering with Ripple Labs using XRP. They're going to be basically facilitating payments through Ripple Solution, which uses XRP. And we even have officially Ripple not partnering with so many other banks, like Far Eastern Bank, First Commercial Bank, HL Bank, International Bank, RHB. There is so much news outlets, even Pakistan potentially working with Ripple Labs or formulating a legalized crypto framework and the Pakistan Faisal Bank already adopting Ripple's blockchain technology in the past using XRP to facilitate payments in Pakistan. Of course, guys, this is going to be the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoy it. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel with your press notifications and share this video. Again, there's a lot of very bullish news and well, in the next 24 hours, it's going to get even more bullish as we figure out the outcomes of the United States of America. America election. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time and peace.